Hello, brilliant young minds. Welcome back to Reading Redner Centers. I'm thrilled to have you here today because we are embarking on a fascinating journey into the world of 3D shapes. Get ready for intro to solid figures. It's like unlocking a secret code to the language of shapes. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Solid figures are like the superheroes of geometry. They are three-dimensional shapes that exist in the real world. Think of them as the building blocks of our universe. Let's start with the sides. Think about your cereal box or a dice. How many flat surfaces does it have? Exactly. Six. Each of those surfaces is what we call a side. These sides are like the walls of our shape providing structure and definition. Just like the walls of your room, they create a boundary and hold everything together. Sides are the storytellers of our 3D world. Now, let's talk angles. Imagine you're building a tower with blocks. Each time the blocks turn or make a corner, that's an angle. Look at the corners of our cube. Those are angles. Think of angles as the architects of our 3D world. They give our shapes personalities and a sense of direction. The more angles, the more unique and exciting our shape becomes. Now, let's explore vertices. Vertices are the special points where the sides meet. Remember those corners we just counted? Well, each corner is also a vertex. Vertices are like the meeting points, where sides shake hands and say, we are all part of the same shape. Vertices are the connectors, the glue that binds our 3D masterpiece together. They create unity and make our shape whole. Without vertices, our shape would just be a bunch of disconnected sides. Let's explore some solid figures now. Meet the cube. It has six faces, 12 edges, and 8 vertices. Imagine a tiny Rubik's cube. Each face is a flat surface, and the edges connect those faces. The vertices? Well, they are the corners where the edges meet. If you had a magical cube, you could play solid figure hide and seek. Next up, we have the sphere. It's perfectly round, like a basketball. No edges or vertices here. Imagine rolling a snowball. Its surface is smooth all around. So, the sphere is like Earth, a giant cosmic ball. Look at the cylinder. It's like a can of soda point two circular faces and a curved surface that wraps around. Imagine a tall water bottle. The top and bottom circles are the faces and the sides are the curved surfaces. Cheers to cylindrical creativity. The pyramid stands tall with its triangular base and four triangular faces. It's like a mini ancient Egyptian wonder. Picture the Great Pyramid of Giza. The one with mummies, pharaohs, and secret chambers. The base is a triangle and the faces are triangles too. Climb to the top and you'll find a vertex. A mystical point where all the triangles meet. Let's test our 3D knowledge with a quick quiz. What do we call the flat surfaces of a solid figure? Is it A, edges, B, sides, or C, corners? Share your answer in the comments below. And, of course, hit that like button, share the joy with your friends, and subscribe for more mind-boggling math adventures. Before we wrap up, here's a challenge for you find a 3D shape at home, maybe a cereal box, a toy, or even a book, and count its sides, angles, and vertices. Share your discoveries with us in the comments. We love hearing about your explorations. That concludes our deep dive into solid figures today. We've uncovered the secrets of sides, angles, and vertices, the essential ingredients of 3D shapes. Keep your eyes wide open, and you'll start seeing these fascinating shapes all around you. Join us next time for more mathematical wonders.